Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock with the best. You heard? So, we got to let a couple of people pile in. I want to see who is grinding today, tonight. Let me invite a couple of people. If you guys want to share these videos with your friends and family, please do so. Be more than happy to uh, oblige them with some of this humble wisdom I have been bestowed upon me. So what's up, peoples? How's everyone doing? Just letting a couple people pile in real quick. Today was a great day. Gratitude exercises in full effect. You know, had a chance to meet up with a great team of people at Supreme Windows. Shout out to Supreme Windows, the whole team over there. Jim, Chloe, Anka, Dana, and Barbara. Shout out to the whole Supreme Windows team. So shout out to everybody that's tuning in right now. Um, we're going to go a little bit into some business affairs, right? I want to see how you guys are doing uh, with your business right now. If you started on your business, if you're rolling out some new business, getting ready for some product launches. Remember, everybody, this is this month is almost done, man. It's uh, sep September Labor Day is rolling out, right? So you, you need to be moving on this, man. You got Labor Day coming up. Then you have, right after Labor Day, Halloween. That's another major holiday that you can piggyback on. Um, what up, Derek? What up, Bradley? What up, Arnold? Um, so, again, you guys need to be moving vastly on the holidays that's moving in on us like really really quick this is almost like blitz season right blitz season so you have all the major holidays are coming up you have labor day that's popping up you should have some type of labor day sale some type of labor day promotion going on then right after that you have uh halloween right after Halloween, then you got Black Friday. God damn, you, you got to roll something out for Black Friday. What up, Jimmy? You got to roll something out for Black Friday. Um, then right after Black Friday, you get to get Thanksgiving, right? I think it's one of those two. Thanksgiving, that's another major holiday that you're going to move into. Then you have, what is that? Christmas. Christmas is another major holiday. What up, short majors? Hello, Carmen. Um, what is what's another one? Holiday. What's New Year's, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day? Those are some major, major holidays that you can move a lot of products, a lot of services within those areas. So, what do you guys have in place for those holidays that are coming up? I think I'll name almost like eight holidays in the next four or five months what kind of promotions are you doing right like carmen got carmen has a dope if you guys haven't checked out dogaholics check out dogaholics they help out um endangered dogs from being euthanized right so i would be like you know what kind of promotions you got going on carmen for the holidays that would be my question you know you got labor day coming up you got black friday you have all these holidays coming up Derek, what do you have planned? Derek has Black Alpha um, closing line. What promotions do you have set up for, you know, the holidays? What up, Josh Cheney? Hello, wife. My wife is saying hello. I got to hit the like button so I don't get knocked upside the head. Right? What up, Londo? So, um... Yeah, these, these are some major, major promotions. But before you can do that, right, you're going to have to 
Know who you're speaking to. Who's your audience, right? You're going to have to find out, in, in case you don't know already, you have to find out two different things. You have to find out who the demographics is, What's your demographics that you're reaching out to and what's the psychographics? Now, a lot of you guys haven't heard of psychographics, right? Psychographics is when you're getting in the mind of the customer. That's when you find out. Mm, let me give an example here. Let me give you an example. Psychographics. What kind of religion are they in? Are they vegans? You know, are they vegetarians? Um, let's see. Let's see what other stuff. Uh, what hobbies would they have? Do they like football? Do they like sports? Or do they like, um, you know, do they? What kind of restaurants would your customers, your perfect customer, frequent? Would it be Hooters? You know, is it TGI Fridays? The reason why you want to know the psychographics. It's because you want to be where your customers are online or in, in the physical presence, right? So when you know their psychographics, you can relate certain um, language. You can start speaking their language, right? You know, um, you could say, like, let's just say a promotion that would be, hey, you know, I got a bundle sale, like the 20, 20 hot wings you know, with ranch at Hooters. They know, someone would say, I know what you're talking about. 20 hot wings, yeah. You know, they come out in a tray or you might have a picture of a picnic basket. You want to get into the mind. You want to start speaking like your customer, putting your customer, you always hear it all the time, putting yourself in your customer's shoes. So... Let me see. Derek, you said, thank you. I'm working on it. Definitely work on what kind of promotions you're going to be rolling out for the holidays. Cause that's, this is, it, this is where it makes or breaks the company. If you don't have nothing planned for these holidays, man, you're going to be shooting yourself in the foot. So you want to be prepared for all this. All right, Brooklyn, you uh, took mommy's phone. I, I see you give her back her phone. So, uh, a couple of quick tips on finding your demographics, right? So for your demographics, you definitely want to know their age, right? You want to know their gender. Is it a male or female? Who Who is purchasing your products the most? Is it male or is it female? And if it's a, excuse me, if it's female, you better get on Pinterest because Pinterest is geared more for females. So, you want to know their age. Is it uh, young teens? You know, if you if it is young teens, you maybe you might want to jump on Snapchat. You might want to do a couple of snap uh, reels, right? Um, is it an older crowd? Is it a, a crowd that likes to see more visual stuff? If they're more visual, you know, uh, you might want to get on Instagram. You know, uh, are they between the ages of thirty five to forty? You know, when you're in that age bracket, you speak different. You move different. You know what I mean? You have a different swag going on at that time. So find out what your demographics is. What kind of a, uh, uh, income bracket are they in? Are they making, you know, under $20,000 a year? Or are they making fifty to to $100,000 a year? You know, when... You understand how much they're making, how much income they're bringing in. Well, um, it helps you understand and speak the language of that client. You know, uh, a person that's making, you know, six hundred thousand dollars ain't going to know what it is like, what it's like to not have enough money for gas. You know what I mean? Or, you know, eating ramen noodles because they have to. They're eating the ramen noodles because they want to at that point, right? Um, you want to know about the demographics. So quick announcements, quick announcements. Uh, the Million Dollar Hustle with DeAndre L. Rucker is coming soon. The webinar is coming soon. We're, we're actually preparing for it right now. Uh, it looks like we're going to be rolling it out Halloween 
or Halloween Eve. So the million dollar hustle with DeAndre L. Rucker, which is a no sleep to success promotion. We will be rolling out the webinar um, Halloween or Halloween Eve. So stay tuned for details on that. It's going to be amazing, 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 amazing. He's going to reveal things that you've never heard him reveal on these videos that we've uh, done in the past. Also, I wanted to say thank you, guys. The last video that we posted beat our previous best video. We, we, were, we were trying to beat... 678 views in 24 hours and because of you guys we beat it by an additional 150 okay so we hit over 800 views within 24 hours so salute 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 to you guys because we couldn't do it without you so uh you got a question what's the link to put on your website to redirect people to product from the other companies. Uh, let me see, let me see. The link to put on your website to redirect to product. Are you talking about Amazon? Are you talking about um, redirecting people to an Amazon site to a link so you can start getting uh, paid from Amazon? It, it, give me a little more detail on that, Derek. I'm trying to understand it. Um, yeah, so the webinar is coming through. We still got the uh, wristbands. Okay, so for Amazon. So first thing you got to do is sign up for Amazon Affiliate. So go go Google uh, Amazon Affiliate Program. You have to sign up for that. Hopefully you got a, a PayPal account. I believe that's how they deposit the money. Or if you don't have a PayPal account, you can also give them your account and routing number. And that way they can wire the money to uh, your account directly. You have to hit a certain threshold, right? So they will not pay out unless you reach, I believe, over $75 in sales. Other than that, it just rolls over into you know, the next month or next quarter. Um, so go to amazonaffiliate.com and then sign up for that. Once you sign up for that, then there, are, uh, there are tabs on there, which will allow you to select products that you like, right? And then it will give you, a, um, an option to create a short code. So it'll tell you create short code. So that's what you're looking for. Create a short code. Um, so I hope that helps there. Um, and then you can always, you know, YouTube, how you can create a better, um, you know, a online Amazon store, which is the future now too. Pe a lot of people are creating, uh, Amazon stores. I was talking to my guy in Harvard the other day, and that is something that a lot of the clients are looking to get into is creating an online Amazon store. So also, um, you guys have to understand something as you begin to progress in your business, right? And, and grow in your business. You're, you're going to have to, and, and I'm sorry to say it, you're going to have to let go of the cheap ways. Okay. You're going to stop. You're going to have to stop being cheap with your business and your company. The reason why I say that is this. It's like your company becomes like your child, right? Like your baby. Like this is my baby. I, I want to nurse the baby. Would you give your child some raggedy old Similac milk? You know? Would you continue to feed your child um, just garbage food, junk food all the time, all the time, all the time? No, you, you eventually want to step up your game and... Hire people that are way more talented than you that, yeah, it may cost you a little bit more, but it pays in dividends because not only are you tapping into their mind and their resources, right, but you're streamlining and you're creating a barrier. You don't like, like Derek, for instance, right? Derek, 
You don't like competition, do you? Tell me, do you like competition? Do you like being in the ocean full of other sharks that are fighting for the same damn clients? Does that feel good? Does that feel good to, to, to fight for every single damn sale? Like you put up a post the other day. I was laughing my ass off. You said something about uh, you was looking for some models. <laughs> Yo, you said you was looking for some models to wear a, a black hoodie and some drawers. I was dying. I was laughing so hard behind the scene, bro. I, I wish you... But, you know, having competitions, being in an ocean, which is called the Red Ocean, right? Being in the Red Ocean with all these competitors trying to all get at the same chump, you know, the, the, uh, the same chum, you're fighting for position. You're, you're elbowing and pushing people. What if you can put yourself in a position where you're in the blue side of the ocean, right? Where... You're not fighting for competition where clients are banging down your door seeking you and your products and your services. How great would that be? So that's the whole point of everything that we're teaching with me and DeAndre L. Rucker. We're teaching you guys how to create your own space, right? Once you create your own space, you're able to create other industries that have not been created before, right? And once you're able to do that, now you're far away from the competition. Let the competition fight for that, you know, those little deals. And, you know, ask yourself this. How can a fashion line like Yves Saint Laurent, let, let, let's remove the brand part out of it, right? Yves Saint Laurent can sell a shirt for... $90, $180. But yet, you as a fashion owner of a company, a fashion entrepreneur, are fighting to sell a shirt for $20. And then when you sell the shirt, when you finally, you know, get a person to want to buy your shirt for $20, they want to haggle you down to get the price down to $15. You got, you, you have to have a disqualification process. You have to be able to disqualify certain people. Be like, hey, you know what? My brand is just not for you. My product is not for you. Why do you charge so much? Well, because this, that, and the third. If you feel that this brand is too expensive for you, maybe I'll, later down in life, I'll create a cheaper, less expensive brand to cater. But today... My t-shirts go for $40, $50. Be that bold. Derek, I challenge you, brother. I'm going I'm to I'm put out a challenge out for you. I challenge you to sell your shirt. Put a shirt up there. Put a shirt up there for $150. Put a t-shirt up there for $150. And see what happens. See what kind of clientele you start bringing in. See if that's a space that you would like to be in. Because people, are, there's a bunch of motherfuckers out there competing for $20 shirts, $30 shirts. Raise the bar. Say I am making a limited edition. Black Alpha shirt. I am making only 20 of these. These are going for $150. Who wants one? Let me see. Yeah, I understand the ins and outs of the fashion industry, bro. Real talk. I understand that there are always going to be people that are going to haggle you for price. Always. It don't matter what product or service you're in, whether you're selling windows, you're selling t-shirts, or you're selling pet rocks and shit. There's always got to be somebody that says, that shit is too expensive. That shit could be 99 cents and somebody's going to say, can you drop a penny? So, why not get away from people like that? There, there's plenty of people to cater to them. Just don't let it be you. You know what I mean? 
Go, there's plenty of money out here. Sometimes the only reason why we're putting our products for so cheap is because we feel that we cannot find those clients that are willing to spend premium top dollar for it. The same amount of work that you're putting in to find these cheap, I ain't even going to call them bums, but I'm going to call them, for the, for the sake of this argument, for these cheap bums, is that you're putting the same amount of work to, to, to find them. You could put the same amount of work and time to find the ones that are going to spend $90 for a t-shirt, $150 for a t-shirt. You remember when Artful Dodger came out? Artful Dodger was selling a hoodie for like a buck and change. Killing the industry. Killing the industry. Nobody, nobody had ever seen an urban brand besides Kooji that was purchasing people, uh, purchasing product with that much of a high price bracket and people were eating it up. Let's think about uh, Basing Ape. Who's competing with Basing Ape? Nobody's competing with Basing Ape because why? They're exclusive as fuck, right? And then they're selling their shirts for $120 a pop. Now, when you go approach a celebrity, I'm going to drop some gems on you guys tonight. When you approach a celebrity, right? You think the celebrity wants to wear your $20 ass shirt? Huh? You think he wants to wear a fucking $15, $10 shirt? He's trying to create a niche and an image for himself. He has a brand, a luxury brand. That's why he's a celebrity. He doesn't want to wear your goddamn shirt that costs like, you know, 20 bucks. So when you say, when you approach a celebrity of any magnitude, because he's a celebrity, hey, these shirts are like a buck and change right here. You want to purchase that? You know, all my services and my products, I've worked with Coca-Cola and I've worked for this company and that company, $10,000. Do you know, do you know that there are, I was just talking to my good buddy, uh, Donnie. Phenomenal copywriter. Phenomenal. And you guys probably don't even know what a copyright a copywriter is. But it's okay, though, because as you progress, when you find out what a copywriter is and you, want, and you find out how much money they're charging, then you got to understand, right? But we were just talking a little while ago, and... Um, there are copywriters and uh, logo designers that are making ten, twenty thousand dollars a pop. There are logo designers, graphic designers that are making logos for twenty grand a pop. And then you have this guy that's on Fiverr. You got, you got logo graphic designers, excuse me, that are making logos and designs on Fiverr for $5. You think they, they, they're anywhere in the same vicinity, circumference, atmosphere? Huh? Do you think they're anywhere, they're not even smelling the same air. If that person has more courage to charge somebody $20,000 for one logo. And then this guy over here is probably, he has to do like 10,000 logos just to make what this guy did. They're not even in the same vicinity, man. I'm just letting you know that the money is out there. The same amount of work they're doing to find the ones that are going to haggle you down for price and, and fight for, you know, every little penny that they have, you can take that same amount of energy and transfer it and find for find the people that won't haggle you on price, that will generously pay you premium top dollar for your items. It's time to think bigger, people. Like Scarface said, it's time to expand, Frank. Chicago, Detroit, Los Angeles, we got to expand. We got to expand our mind.
T.I. got a hoodie, you said, Derek? Uh, T.I. got a hoodie that I want to sell for 59 but I'm hesitating. Okay, so you got a hoodie that you want to sell for $59, but you're hesitating. Sell that shit for $100 and just throw it out there. Throw that shit up there. That's what I'm saying, like, you guys are living in the best era ever in history. The customer is willing to give you feedback, right? The customer is willing to tell you, I like it, but if you had this on there, maybe I'd buy it. Just create the prototype like you've been doing, Derek. Put it on there and then put in a, a ridiculous price amount. Something that'd be like, what the fuck? Why the hell is this hoodie going for $200? Hold on, let me expand it now. You know, let me expand it to see why is this hoodie costing $200? What makes this hoodie so special that he has the audacity to ask for $200? That's the word that they used to use when Barack Obama was running for presidency. What makes him think he can run for president? What gives him the audacity to come in front of us and say he's putting in his nomination for the presidency? It took that type of audacity to shake up the world and put him in office. Do you have that audacity? This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. You already know what it is, man. You're rocking with the best. Be in tune. We have the Million Dollar Hustle with DeAndre L. Rucker webinar coming out. Halloween or Halloween Eve. It is going to be phenomenal. It is going to be so enriching. I promise you. You're going to walk out of it. You're going to be in your home after that webinar, after you leave that. You'll never be the same again, man. Remember, you don't want to be Neo. You want to be Agent Smith. Peace.